Do you guys like mysteries? Do you read really cool mystery books, mystery novels, Sherlock Holmes? Or maybe you had a really cool chocolate bar and somebody ate it at your house and you had to solve the mystery of who ate it? Well, I have a really cool mystery. And I like to call this experiment Mystery Matter. Now you see, obviously, some things are very easy to determine what state of matter it is, right? Now, for those of you that don't know, matter is something that takes up space. Now, everything on Earth, think about it, takes up space, right? You can drink a glass of water because liquids take up space. You couldn't drink a bathtub filled with water because it takes up too much space. You could fit a grain of sand in your hand, but you couldn't hold an entire boulder in your hand because solids could take up too much space. And think about air, right? You could breathe in air. You could put air in a balloon and it could fill up the balloon, but the more air you put, it explodes because it could take up too much space. So everything in the universe, everything on Earth takes up space, but some things are really hard to determine what state of matter is it in. Wait a minute, is it a solid? Think about an ice cube, it's a solid. It starts to melt, it turns into a liquid, and then it evaporates and it turns into a gas. So water could actually be all three states of matter. But this here, it just confuses me. It just makes me say, hmm, what? Wait, what state of matter is this? And all I need, two things, okay? One is cornstarch, for those of you who don't know, Many parents use cornstarch to make pudding. Uh, they make gravy. It's a really cool cooking material, I guess we can call it. But we're not gonna cook with it. We're gonna make something really weird with it called mystery matter. I'm gonna use one bag of cornstarch. I'm gonna drop it in my container, just like this, okay? And I'm gonna make two bags, because more is always better, okay? Two bags and I'm gonna drop this into here, okay? Let me just save a little. Now I'm going to add water. Now, it's always cooler if you make it a different color. So, I can make my mystery matter green, I can make it blue, I can make it red. Uh, for now, I'll say, mm -mm, we'll make it blue, okay? And I'm gonna add 10 drops of blue. So, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you don't like it, you can make it darker. We can add an extra 10. Let's just see what it looks like. And we have my blue water, and I think it needs to be a little bluer, so let's just do 10 more, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got a little tornado going on there with the vortex. Stir it around, and yeah, that just looks a lot better. But now here's the problem, okay? If you add way too much liquid into your powder, actually, liquid, solid, right? If you take the smallest piece of cornstarch and put it underneath the microscope, it has a definitive shape. This is a solid, that's my liquid. But if I add too much of the liquid, I ruin my mystery matter. It's gonna take some time to get it right, so just check this out. I'm gonna add a little bit of my water, just like this, and stop. Okay, now this is extremely messy. So I would recommend wearing a smock or an apron, okay? Covering your table. Don't do this over mommy's favorite rug. I'm gonna stir this up. Now as I start to stir it, you're gonna notice that the powder and the water start to have a really cool reaction and you can kind of get an idea. Look at this. Something's starting to happen, okay? Now how do you know when to stop adding water? Well, you can kind of tell if there's still a little powder left, then you know you need to add a little more water. But now it gets tricky. You want to just put a bit of water at a time, a little bit at a time. Because if you add too much water, it will be too much like a liquid, and we want, it make, we want to make it look like my mystery matter. And more water. And don't lie, you guys love messes. This is going to be fun. You could do it outside if you wanted to. And I think this is gonna be just right. I think I just added the perfect amount of water. Now, guys, while I'm making this, let me just, just go over something, okay? If you're near a table, hit the table, right? It's hard. It has a shape. And the only way you can change its shape is by giving it a force. Maybe if you had a saw or, or an ax, you can change the shape of the table. Please don't do that, I'm just saying. Okay, or think of an apple, right? If you bite into an apple, you change its shape. If mommy cuts the apple, you're changing its shape. Now liquids 
liquids can take the shape of whatever they go into, right? If I put a liquid in a cup, it's the shape of the cup. If I put it back in my mouth because I'm drinking, it's the shape of my mouth. And eventually, later, it becomes the shape of the toilet bowl. That's disgusting, right? But it's true. It changes its shape. Now, this is my mystery matter. And it, it's ready. Now, check this out. I'm going to show you something amazing. And you're going to say, how did he do that? Kind of looks like magic, right? Watch this, okay? Here we go. I'm going to take my hand. I'm going to... I'm gonna punch the table. Ready? Watch. Did my hand go through the table? No, it didn't. The molecules in this table are compacted so tightly that it gives this table shape. Now, if I hit the water, I was able to go into the water because the molecules are further apart. So I'm able to go into it, liquids flow. But now, here's my question, okay? What state of matter is this? Is it a solid or is it a liquid? And right now you're probably making your predictions, but now I'm gonna confuse you. Watch this. I'm gonna punch it. Now if I punch it and it's a liquid, I would go through it. If I punch it and I can't go into it, it's a solid. Now ready? Let's see. Did I go into it? I'm not going into it. It's a solid. It's a solid, right? Now wait. What if I go into it slowly? I can't go into the table. If I go slow, I still do not go through the table. But watch this. Punch, solid, slow, and then my hand is into it. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, guys, can you help? Wait, wait, now it's a liquid, and if I pull my hand up fast, the pressure, it's a, this is, now what if I pull my hand out slowly? And, oh, oh God, oh, ew, dude. Okay, this stuff is weird, and I'm still confused. I've been doing this experiment for years. Guys, is it a solid or is it a liquid? How about this? Can you pick up water and roll it around and turn it into a ball? No, you can't. Pick up water, it flows through your hand, but watch this. I could pick some of it up, and by moving it quickly, look, I have it. Check this out. Look at this, it's keeping its shape, it's keeping its shape. It's a ball, it's a ball. And the minute I stop moving it, it turns into a liquid. So, could something on Earth be both? Is it a solid? Is it a liquid? Is it both? What do you think? Go home, get your own materials, and try to make your own mystery matter and answer the question, what state of matter is the mystery matter? Have fun, begin your investigation.